All right, today you're working on the second method for solving system of equations. System of equations means you have two linear equations with two variables, and the specific method that you're using today is substitution. You already have done the graphing one. Um, blank is a method for solving system of equation that involves isolating a variable in one equation in order to substitute into the other equation so there so that you're able to solve the system and find the solution. So it's substitution because you have a keyword over there, substitution. How this works, I'm gonna explain you. Number one, we need an isolated variable. So that means I am probably need to have an equation which is y equals something, or I can also have x equals something. Isolated variable means the variable needs to be by itself and the constant needs to be one. Step number two, I'm gonna substitute that variable, uh, the value of that variable into the other equation. That means a second equation. And I'm gonna solve and have the value. And then once I have one variable solved, I'm gonna plug back into the first equation and I'm gonna have the second variable done as well. It's going to make more sense when I'm going to show you the steps. When using substitution method, we always start with the equation that already has a variable isolated or is blank to solve for a specific variable or it's easier to solve for a specific variable. It is very important that you use blank when substituting. Um, I'm going to write variable with constant of one. Let's look at the example. You have two variables over here, y and x. Um, y has the constant of one and x has the constant of three. So if I have to isolate a variable, I'm gonna isolate y over here. You're not going to isolate the x because it's a bad idea, it's a three. You're gonna end up getting a fraction and um, the question is gonna get difficult. So no, you always isolate the variable with the constant of one. Once you isolate the variable, you're gonna plug or substitute in here. So you're gonna substitute in here. Example number one, what is the solution to the system of equation? Um, that means I need the x and the y value. That is exactly what the solution means. And I have a system written as 6x minus 5y equals negative 19. My second equation is y equals negative 2x minus 9. Now, first thing is you have to identify an isolated variable or isolate the variable. So isolate a variable in one equation. So look at the second equation, y equals negative 2x minus 9. This is your isolated variable. So I do not have to do anything, it's already isolated. Which means that y, this means that y will be replaced with its value, which is negative 2x minus 9 in the second equation. So I'm gonna replace the y or substitute the y as its counter value. Type the second equation in this box, 6x minus 5y equals negative 19. From your first equation, you know that y is basically negative 2x minus 9. So this is what you're going to do. 5 instead of y, put parentheses and put in that x value, negative 2x, sorry, that negative 2x minus 9. So this is what the y is. So you're going to replace the y with its counter value. Complete writing that statement. I did. Okay. Done. Now all you have to do is solve for x. So 6x 
this i'm gonna distribute because it's parentheses so that's a positive 10x this is a positive 9 times 5 is 45 equals negative 19. i have two like terms over here so i'm going to combine those 16x plus 45 equals negative 19. this is two-step equation you know all of that um, my next step should be subtract 45 on both sides i'm left with 16x equals this is negative 4 in 64 next step divide by 16 on both sides so x is equals to negative 4 so i have the value of the x if i have the solution i have the value of the x of course you need the whole complete set so you need the y so in order to find the y look at your first equation if you plug in the x you actually solve for y so that's all you're gonna do y equals negative 2x minus 9 and this time you have the x so just replace that x as negative 4 and so make sure you always write the left hand side otherwise you are going to get lost that which variable you are calculating multiply this it is positive 8 solve y is negative 1 so my solution is this is my answer negative 4 comma negative 1 You should be able to do number two example by yourself. Just refer back to number one, how I did. I is already isolated, so no need to worry about that. Um, I can solve number three for you because this time you actually have the X. So let's read the question. It says, what is the value of X? Oh, actually this time I am very particular. I need the value of the X in the solution to the system of equations. So I need both x and y, and then my answer should be x value. First step is isolate a variable. So I'm gonna look at both my equations and see which one is easier. So two x plus four y equals 13, x equals three y negative six. Oh, the second one, actually, I already have an isolated variable. So x equals three y minus six. There you go. So x, will be replaced by its counter value 3y minus 6 in the second equation so let's plug in the second equation 2x plus 4y equals 13 and this time be very careful x needs to be replaced so two parentheses x is 3y minus 6 complete writing the whole thing out all right notice you only replace the x with its counter value multiply three times two is six y two times negative six is negative 12 plus four y equals 13 you have two terms that are alike so combine them six y plus four y is 10 y minus 12 equals to 13 next step should be add 12 on both sides you are left with 10 y equals 25 so y is equals to 2.5 all right i have the y so if the question was asking about the y i was done but the question is not asking about the y it is asking about the x so i have to find the value of x for value of x you're just going to use the first because i x is already isolated x equals 3y minus 6 so x will be replaced when y is plugged in as 2.5 so x is um 3.3 multiplied by 2.5 is 
7.5 minus 6 x is equal to 1.5 there you go so x is basically 1.5 so my answer is x equals 1.5 You should be able to do example number four by yourself. I am going to, you can actually do all of them by yourself. Okay, so number five and number six and number seven are similar to each other. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do the decimal one so you don't get scared of the decimals because there is one decimal at the back so I'm gonna let you do that one. So number five, number six, number seven are all alike each other, okay? What is the value of y? I am very specific. I need the y value over here. In the solution to the system, so my system is x plus y equals 21, 8.5x plus 275y equals 132.50. Okay, now in the previous questions, what was the difference? I had an isolated variable. In this situation, I do not have an isolated variable. So step number one is isolate a variable. Now, which variable you are going to isolate? You're going to isolate the variable with the constant of one. All right, it would be a bad idea if I isolate the x from the second equation or the y from the second equation. No, that's a disaster. You're never gonna do that. So first equation is the one that you are going to work with. x plus y equals 21. So I have the x plus y, I have both of them. My answer, my question says value of y. This means if I isolate the x, I will have the y. So I'm gonna shorten my steps. I'm going to isolate, so isolate a variable and I'm going to write it out over here. I'm going to isolate the x. So isolate x means subtract y on both sides. You're left with x equals 21 minus y. There you go. So this is the isolated variable or the equation with the isolated variable. So x will be replaced by its counter value of 21 minus y. Step number two, plug in the x into your second equation. So plug in x as 21 minus six, sorry, 21 minus y in second equation. I'm not gonna have a third step over here, so I'm gonna use both um, columns. So let's type the second equation, which is 8.50x plus 2.75y equals 132.50. Replace the value of the x as that. So 8.50 parentheses. So x is going to be, so x is replaced as 21 minus y. <clears throat> Next, um, I have a distribution over here because I have a set of parentheses. Um, distribute and distribute using calculator because it's dozens of um, decimals here. Multiply these two, I got 178.5 minus 8.50y plus 2.75y equals 132.5. Next, notice that you have two variables that are same, y on the same side, so combine those two. So 178.5 minus 5.75y equals 132.5. I'm gonna move in this box. So my equation, I'm just going to copy it again. Uh, 
I have to find the y. So first step would be subtract 178.5 on both sides. Bring this down, negative 5.75y equals, subtract this, you get 46 negative. Now divide by negative 5.75 on both sides. You're left with y equals to positive 8. And I need the value of the y and I have it. If you're still not done, suppose you need the x, so you're going to plug in y back into the first equation and you can get it that way. Um, so that's how you can do. Question number 5. I'm going to give you a clue. Isolate the y on the first equation. Question number seven, you can isolate you can isolate either of them since you need x or y both. So I would recommend isolate the y because you are used to of writing the equation as y equal mx plus b. You should be able to do these two questions as well by yourself. I can review writing the equation for you since it's a word problem and then you can just solve it from there. A college student completed some courses worth three credits and some courses worth four credits. The student earned a total of 18 credits after completing five courses. So these are my two totals. How many four courses how many courses worth four credits did the student do i'm gonna call my variables x is three credits because it came first it came first and y is four credits and this is what you have to find this is question mark because you need the four word four credits um, according to your question Right system of equation, I have two variables. I have system of equation, I have two totals. What are my two totals? First total is they both together did five courses, so five. So x plus y course plus other course equals total five courses, and they did total 18 credits. So 3x plus 4y equals 18. Your step number one is isolate the y. So I'm gonna isolate the y in the from the first equation. X plus y equals five. Subtract x on both sides. Now this I'm gonna substitute. Substitute. Substitute the value of y as 5 minus x in the second equation. So 3x plus 4y equals 18. 3x plus 4. I'm going to enter the value of y here because that's what I'm replacing. So y goes as 5 minus x. Um, simplify here and solve. 5 times 4 is a 20 minus 4x equals 18. Combine the like terms. X turned out to be negative two. Which is correct because you are solving for the credit hours, these are some courses, so it needs, sorry, positive two. So it needs to be a positive number. Um, you divide by negative one on both sides. So I have the X, I do not have the Y yet because I am looking for the Y. So I'm going to plug back into my equation, which I isolated here. Y equals five minus X. So Y is equals to five minus two y is equals to three so this is my answer because i i needed y 
So this should be um, helpful and easy. Go ahead and solve whatever the remaining questions that you have over here. Um, that's it.